morning, everyone, and welcome to the show. I'm Makayla. And I'm Alyssa. And, and this, this is, is the Wildcat, Wildcat Weekly. Weekly. Whoa, this is like the first female, like, full female thing. Here's to another episode of this week's news for Jameson students to find out what's going on around campus. That's right, so let's get started, seniors. Graduation is on May 30th, a special night for all of you, but you, before you can enjoy it, you need to make sure that all the bills are paid. If you have these payments, then it's due by May 25th, and the money's turned into the bookkeeper. Also, seniors, if you're interested in giving a senior speech at graduation, contact the <coughs> office to let them know that you're interested. And another special fun night for the seniors is coming up on May 17th. Seniors will be going to Six Flags Grand Night. Not only will you get to get on the roller coasters, but you own the dance club. Man, that sounds like fun. Now let's check in with Juan on One for a checkup on the softball team. Right, this is Juan on One with Juan. I'm here with Justin, Maddie, and Antoine. Uh, how do you think the game went? Uh, I think the game went good. Overall, we played good as a team. Smack. And uh, our defense, batting. Uh, good. Yes. How do you feel you did in the game? Um, I did better than last time. Second dozen in a row, so can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> you know when our next game is? Uh, our next game is next week against Larry. Is it away or home? It's away. You know the score? Today? 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 Oh, uh, today was 15 to... Well, I think seven. Yeah. So I'll have for you guys. Back to you. Thank you, Juan, for that report. And great job on your guys' last game. Next, us Jamer Productions have some news regarding yearbooks. Deposits were due last week, and for us to have a yearbook, we had to have more than 20 purchases. Whoa. Well, the results are in, and we managed to sell 36 copies. Also, double our goal. We wanted to take a moment to thank those who helped us support our class and school by purchasing yearbooks. If you didn't buy a book, you will have one last opportunity to get your hands on one the day the books come in. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. <laughs> that's right. The day of the signing party, we will be selling a very limited amount of yearbooks, but at a slight higher price. We'll have an update. We will update you students more about the signing party and dates very soon. Also, talking about giving thanks, we would like to congratulate and thank Maddie for her winning design of the front cover of the yearbook. The graphic arts class created a handful of designs that were voted by the staff. A lot of students put a lot of work into this yearbook. It's a long progress, so thank you for everyone and your hard work. You were involved in the yearbook, Kyla. How was it? It was very stressful, but it's, it was good now. Moving on now from, let's move on to weather. Let's see what weather is in store for us this week. All right. Thanks, guys, for taking our job. Now we're going to take Mikayla's <laughs> for this weather. You ready for this week? All right, you go first. Tuesday is going to be mostly sunny with a high of 94. Wednesday, sunny with a high of 90. Thursday, sunny with a high of 89 and Friday partly cloudy with a high of 89 that's this week's weather back, back to you guys thanks guys for that report I guess you guys did good okay now let's get serious with only 16 school days left you'll only have 8 days left of community service and we have 13 days of school left for E2020, so get that done. And that's the end of the show. I'm Melissa. And I'm Kyla. And this, and this was, was the Walkout Weekly. Bye. Bye.